Sarah Ray. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. This is the second to last video for our subscriber week. Wow, this week has gone by so fast. Now, we weren't originally going to do a subscriber week video today, but I changed my mind, like I told you guys yesterday. And for anybody new watching, I'll reiterate what I told you guys yesterday. I got a suggestion. A subscriber of mine told me this sweet little story about how today would have been David Bowie's 75th birthday. And if I haven't heard any of his music, he suggested two songs. Now, I've heard little things, little snippets here and there of his music and always thought, eh, it's never for me. And that's kind of being closed-minded because I never fully sat down and listened to his music. And, you know, I thought about it. That's what Subscriber Week's all about. That's what my channel is all about. You know, being open-minded and hearing songs that I haven't heard before. So why not? and that's what we're doing here today. So thank you so much to only me Ian 58 your name is right here on screen, for your lovely comment. It touched me so much, honestly. So it looks like both of these videos are live. These songs are live, I should say, and so I will tell you guys, anybody new watching, I do not show any clips live on, like, on screen. If I'm watching anything, I don't show them on screen due to copyright strikes. I don't want my channel taken away. So these songs will be linked in the description box down below. I will count from three to one and I'll hit play. So in case you want to watch it at the same time with me and want to see what I'm reacting to, you guys can. So the songs we are watching today are Heroes in five years. I'm really excited to see what these songs have to offer, so let's jump into it. I think I've talked enough. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of when I upload, and let's check out, for the first time, some David Bowie music. So the first song we are going to check out is Five Years. So I'm going to turn this way, and I'm going to face my computer. Now, again, I'm not going to show this on camera, but I will link it in the description box down below. So, here we go. I'm going to count down from three, and then I'm going to hit play. You guys ready? Woo! Here we go. Three, two, one. Alright, 72. Oh, old gray whistle test. Leonard Skinner did the old gray whistle test in 75. It's kind of cool. Pushing through the market square So many mothers crying News had just come over We had five years left to sign The news guy wept when he told us Earth was really dying Cried so much that his face was wet Then I knew he was not lying I heard telephones, opera house, favorite melodies I saw boys, toys, electric irons and TVs My brain hurt like a warehouse, it had no room to spare I had to cram so many things to get everything in them So many people all the short, fat people And all the nobody people And all the somebody people I never thought I'd need so many people A girl my age went off her head Hit some tiny children if the black hadn't pulled her off I think she would have killed them A soldier with a broken arm Fixed the stair to the wheels of a Cadillac A cop knelt and kissed the feet of a priest And a queer threw up at the sight of that 
think I saw you in an ice cream parlor Drinking milkshakes cold and long Smiling and waving and looking so fine Don't think you knew you were in my song It was cold and it rained So I felt like an actor And the thought of more And I wanted to get back there To face your race The way that you walk I kiss you, you're beautiful I want you to walk We've got five years Stuck on my eyes Five years What a surprise We got five years My brain hurts a lot Five years That's all we got We got five years Stuck on my eyes Five years What a surprise Okay. Five years. Now, I want to, as always, start with what I think the meaning of this song is about. I have the lyrics pulled up. I feel like the song kind of has this presence in it and kind of like, okay. I get the vibe that it's about the end of the world and at the same time that he's I don't know there's a presence throughout this song but I don't know if, if it's a Pink Floyd type of situation where you have to listen to the whole album to understand this song or something but I just I understand that it's there's it's the end of the world in five years that's all you got so I, I understand that um, so that's what I think the song is about I want to know if this is your first time hearing this song, what you think the song is about, because I'm sure if you're a David Bowie fan, you already know what this song's probably about. <laughs> so um, let's talk about uh, what I thought of this song. Again, there is this presence about it, and it is gorgeous. The vocals David Bowie put off in this performance were effortless, beautiful. He is... I never paid attention to it. He's gorgeous. He has beautiful eyes. Oh my god. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's gorgeous. Um, very charismatic. Uh, the lyrics were beautifully written. They were visual. They were simple yet straightforward. They were very haunting at the same time beautiful wow um also very emotional and i was just amazed by the song and i did feel very emotional not overly emotional like i was ready to cry i did feel a little bit teary but i was just in awe of what i was hearing mostly overall 
is the feeling I was getting hearing this song for the first time. He has a stage presence to him that the only way I can best describe it is comparing him to somebody I greatly love and it's kind of weird because I've mentioned it at the beginning of the performance but um, he quite has a stage presence in the same manner of Ronnie Van Zant to me. So don't freak out of me saying that because I understand he how incredible he is. Just because I don't really know his music don't mean I am oblivious to how incredible this man is, okay? And how legendary and how much of a genius he is. I, I do understand that. But I'm talking about his stage presence. He stands there and just performs. Much like my idol, Ronnie Van Zant, stands there and performs. And they ooze off the stage presence. They don't have to move around. They don't have to do nothing. They just need to stand there and perform and vocally. And they just ooze this awe. Oh, this awe. Oh. You just are captivated by them because... They just have this thing about them where they don't need to do anything else to capture your attention, to do anything else to get you to pay attention to them, okay? They just have to stand there and do what they do, okay? David Bowie has that to him from what I saw, from what I was getting from him and felt from him. It just reminded me that of Ronnie Van Zant because that's exactly what he did, just stand there with his microphone and just performed and it was incredible. I will definitely be listening to this song again and it's very haunting. I really like this. So that's why I think about this song, let's hear Heroes. So from what I was told this is much later in his career so let's check it out. Sorry, I know it's late, but I was editing this video and realized I didn't count down for this song, so I'm going to do it now. So we are going to check this song out in three, two, one. How you doing, huh? Doing good? Excellent. You doing okay? How about you, my baby? How are you doing, gal? Big smile, big smile for daddy. <laughs> Is that like the grossest thing that people say? Oh, come to your daddy, baby. What is with this daddy shit? Sorry, I've been watching, been watching too much. What's that? Guy? Did you say something? Just... <laughs> I've been watching too much television. Forget about it. Hey, you're better off. Okay, so what, what's going to happen? You're still okay for time, right? Well, this is my idea. So we're going to do another couple of songs, right? Then we we'll take a very, very short break. And then we we'll come back and do the low album for you, if you want. You okay out there with that, low? Thank God you know it. We could have been starting. And then we'll do some more songs after that, you know. So this could, I'm not joking, this could be really long. So if you like, if you didn't make any arrangements for getting home, I've got a fairly big motor outside so I can get some of you back, yeah? You know. Like two or three. <laughs> ah, shut up, Bowie. Okay, another song. Drink all the time Cause the lovers That is the fact Yes, we're lovers That is the fact Oh, nothing Will keep us together Just for one day 
when I listened to this live version again with the lyrics pulled up, I had an idea of what I thought this song was about. But again, I heard this line for a second time and it stops me from thinking that in fact I knew what this song was about. And it's the line, standing by the wall and a gun shot above our heads. And we kiss as though nothing could fall. Um, so I'll tell you first what I thought this song was about. Is that no matter what, um, as this song says that we could be heroes. Through our own faults, our own flaws, you know, no matter what we can do anything we can be anything we can be heroes and through love that you can lift each other up you can be heroes together and, and no matter what um and maybe that it's about a couple who felt that way about each other and and they did everything to be together and and they felt i don't know and that line just keeps and the only I mean, the only wall, so a wall and a gun just makes me think of the Berlin Wall. I mean, that's common knowledge. If you're educated, you hear a wall and you hear guns. Well, the Berlin Wall was had guns around it. Um, but then that makes me kind of, I would have to sit here and contemplate more on what I think this song is about. Because every time I think I'm getting warmer, I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. So, if you guys know what this song is about, actually, please let me know because I'm curious. But, anyways, moving on. Let's talk about this song in this video itself. He looks, David Bowie looks so happy on stage. Quite like whenever I see a lot of artists on stage. There's some artists that look like it's their job and they have to be on stage. Like, it's just whatever to them. But then, there's some artists and bands that look like... They just want to be on stage, that they're so happy on stage, that they could sleep, eat, and just live on stage. And that's seeing this video reminds me of that. He looks just so incredibly happy on stage, very mesmerizing. His technique and presence, again, is purely beautiful. Um, and I'm looking at the lyrics, sorry, it makes me think more. Um, his range, his power, he had just so much control. And even when he sounded like he was on the brink of straining vocally, he still found a way to make it seem like he still had control, which is incredible and very difficult to do. The high notes, the low notes, uh, the low growls, just incredible. There was so much passion and the, the band just blended and matched him so perfectly. It was just truly amazing to watch. So much confidence, true confidence. I mean, the rock stars and, and everyone back in the day, just really people like that ooze true confidence and there's some people nowadays that have that but a lot of your stars nowadays your your artists they to me fake it i don't see that true confidence like david bowie showed on this stage uh he's humble just by the very beginning you can see how humble he is fact he acted like not acted he was like thinking that they weren't going to know his song. That he wasn't going to know any of it. Like, really? You're David Bowie and you honestly think nobody's going to know your music at your own concert? <laughs> he feels like he's, I imagine, is still kind of an outsider. That's what I just, like, think when I hear that. He's so humble. He's so grounded. And he still views himself as you know not this big entity that he is and it's so um beautiful to see people like that like someone as big as he is to be that way and even at that time in his life i i don't know what year that is but it's definitely much later in his life and as this song i'll talk a little bit about the song um because we're not fully hearing the actual song itself like on the album 
so I can't really talk too much about it but from what I'm hearing the song is really remarkable it's very beautifully written very touching um, and I feel like a lot of people can relate to it so his music's just really timeless truly this song is timeless so that's how I feel about this song both songs just incredible I'm definitely gonna open myself up more to his music if you guys have any suggestions leave it in the comment section down below of what songs I should do next because I'm definitely curious Get slow please like slow stuff don't just throw something outrageous out there that I'm gonna be like okay what is this like no not anything from Labyrinth because I've seen that movie uh, someone I dated was obsessed with that movie so that's the thing I was talking about at the beginning I've, I've heard little tidbits that movie <laughs> frustrates me okay so nothing from Labyrinth please okay and just some ease ease me into it okay but the, these two incredible thank you so much for these suggestions honestly they were perfect I, I love it thank you so much so beautiful and ah it's such a loss truly even if I didn't know any of his music I still believe it is still a loss it's a sad world without him his music though lives on forever and to him may he rest well and happy 75th birthday David Bowie truly a legend I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys are staying safe and well tomorrow we are doing some Aerosmith so I hope you guys are ready for that but until then thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye